Hey guys, so basically I have been trying to film an intro for this video this entire day. I don't know what is going on, I just cannot film today. Yeah, today I wanted to film a video about this specific face mask and I don't know if you guys remember this mask but when I first started out on YouTube I filmed a video about this funny face mask. I wanted to refilm it because I was not happy with the way I filmed it back then and also I have been getting some questions on that video and I wanted to address them. I figured it would be a lot easier if I answered them in this video so all you guys could see it. So I've been using this face mask for quite some time and this is a DIY homemade face mask using only natural ingredients. I am just like obsessing over everything homemade or using natural ingredients. I'm just like obsessing over that. Because I have really sensitive and acne prone skin. I have oily to combination skin. This mask, it has helped me a lot. Natural ingredients, they have a lot of beneficial factors in them. I really believe that you don't need to spend like a ton of money on a really good skincare regimen. But anyways, I'm just going to answer some of your questions and then I'm going to show you guys how to make this mask. The first question is where do you store it? Inside or outside the fridge? I would have to say it depends on where you live. If you live in a really humid and warm environment, then I would recommend to store it inside your fridge, but I just let it sit in my bathroom and I have not noticed something um, strange about it, you know? Can I use normal sugar? I would say to only stick to brown sugar or cane sugar because it is a lot more organic and it has a lot more beneficial factors in it. How many times a day? Well, I would have to say to only stick to maybe two or three times a week. It really depends on your skin. If you have really, really sensitive skin, then I would not um, use it like that often. But just give it a try. Maybe start with one time a week and see how your skin is reacting on it and then maybe you can use it a little bit more often. I like to use it like three times a week. How long do you leave it on? I let it sit on my face for like two minutes or maybe five minutes. It really depends because sometimes it could drip a little bit and it just tickles on your skin so I don't like that feeling at all. Do I need to wash my face after this? Well, you do need to wash the mask off your face, but I don't use any soap. I just use regular water and just wash it off my face and then I apply my night cream. That is basically all that I do. Does it work for acne? Yeah, it really does work for acne. Acne, it has diminished a lot. I still do get like acne, but I mostly get hormonal acne and also if I don't um, eat good, if I eat like unhealthy or really greasy food, my skin it reacts on it so I really need to pay close attention to what I eat as well. I noticed that my skin has been looking a lot more calm and not really irritated, you know? But I also got a comment of someone saying that their skin it started to break out really badly after they try this mask and I was kind of shocked when I read that comment because that didn't happen to me but we all have different skin types and we all react differently on the same products you know so just give it a try and don't use like really cheap products because those are probably not what they Say they are so do read the ingredients and see if you are buying the product that you want to buy you know are your lips real that was a comment that really made me laugh but yeah they're real um, can I skip the lemon juice well if you want you can skip the lemon juice you can make this mask however you want there are a lot of homemade masks that are really good for skin so just see what kind of mask you want to make so those are basically all the questions that I wanted to answer. If you have more questions, then please let me know because I really want to help you guys. Don't forget to give this
this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and you enjoyed watching it and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will post a video every sunday if you have any requests for videos then please let me know so right now i'm just going to show you guys how you can make this face mask i need a drink okay so let's get started <laughs> This is just a quick overview of all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. First of all, I'm using some olive oil and I'm also using some honey as you will see right now. And do make sure that you're using either organic or biological honey. I'm using biological honey this time, but do make sure to read the ingredients. And then I'm also using some lemon juice if you have a real lemon that is even better and then lastly I'm using some cane sugar you can also use brown sugar but as I said before I don't recommend using white sugar and then I'm also using this glass jar to put all the ingredients in and just store my mask in it make sure that you have a jar with a lid on it first of all I'm going to add the olive oil in the jar and I'm using one third of a cup and I'm using the same amount of honey and I just put them all together in the jar and I'm also adding one tablespoon of lemon juice you don't need to use these specific measurements you can always follow your own recipe but this is just what I have been loving for quite some time so as you already see me doing, I'm just mixing all the ingredients together until it looks somewhat like that. The last ingredient that I'm going to be adding is one cup of cane sugar. I just add it to the mix and I am just mixing it until it is all incorporated. And that is basically all that you have to do your mask should look somewhat like that but before I apply it on my face I like to test it on the back of my hand and see if I would like to add more honey lemon oil or even um, sugar once I'm happy with the finished product I am ready to apply it on my face so I've already washed my face and now I'm just applying a little bit all over my face avoiding the eye area because it is a really delicate area and I just gently massage it all over and I just let it sit for like two minutes and then I wash it off and I continue with my skincare regimen and that is basically all it is really really simple but I do have been noticing the benefits and my skin has been looking a lot healthier. So if you guys also decide to give this mask a try, please let me know your opinions about it. I would love to know. So please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!